Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode... What is it? 25? Of Direwolf20 and Potamar? 25. Ooh, yeah, 25. What is up, Potamar? I'm eating a fish sandwich. Oh, that sounds delicious. It is, because you made it special for me. I did. I made it with my own two hands that made the auto-crafting system that makes it for you. I'm glad you didn't say your three hands. Yeah, that would have been scary. And very confusing. Both frightening and confusing, yes, I concur. So I didn't know sewers create mob essence. That's crazy shenanigans right there. That's gotta be new, because that did not happen in Agrarian Skies. Maybe it was disabled in Agrarian Skies, or maybe it was set up for this map. I don't know. I'm gonna have to like look that up at some point and see if that's normal behavior. It doesn't seem normal. It doesn't seem like it should be normal now. I moved pretty much most of our animals into the holding pen over here, but we're going to need more wheat. I almost feel like replacing a lot more stuff in our farm with wheat because we are like ultra low on wheat. I've been like uh, growing it with bone meal, but nah, it's not helping. So let's see, how much do we need? 10,000. Yeah, I think we need 10,000 okay. of each and we're doing all right on the sewage that took about a minute because that stuff comes in like half a bucket a minute or so it's like stupid fast um but we already have the sludge right yeah so i'm gonna say we don't really need more rice and we probably don't need any more soybeans we have like infinity billion of those cantaloupes yeah i could do away with them as well so we'll put seeds all over the place here um Kind of wondering if we have a lot of seeds laying about. I feel like seeds is something you'd be all over. It seems like something I would know more about, isn't it? So it goes sapling, seeds, seeds. So we can probably get this rice. Mini Enderman. A mini enderman? Yeah, I'm gonna let mini. you deal with that. Why do you invite them? Oh, <laughs> says the guy who invited Paul. Why are they everywhere you are? Why are they everywhere you are? They aren't. You've been battling them for years. We've, we've been over this recently. But still, like, you're here now, and now they're here, so I kind of feel like we're both to blame. That is not how logic works. It is. Prove to me it's my fault. It's your fault. Okay, that's not how logic works either, buddy. I hate to break this news to you. Like, you're a programmer. Aren't you supposed to know how logic works? I know it doesn't involve me. As in being my fault. What? Oh, Shush. that does sound like programmer logic. It's not my fault. Yeah, well, ha. Ha ha. Do I have this thing like not configured to handle things or what's the deal here? I might not have seeds going to... Input is there, output is gold chest, output is barrel. How does this thing output items seeds? Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, five seeds. That should be going there. I wish I could kill these squid that are inside the reactor. Yeah. Mostly because it's just ridiculous to look at squid swimming around in a reactor. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if something's wrong with my MFR thingy. I'll have to figure it out later. I would think everything's okay, but eh, we'll figure it out, like I said. Uh, so this thing should start planting in a minute. Hopefully that'll mean more wheat for us. Not that we need it, like, you know, for too long, because, you know, we should be doing pretty good here pretty soon. Not much longer, huh? No, unfortunately not, Pahamar. We're going to have to find a new map to work on at some point. People say these things. They do. 
they do. So I heard that there's more cities. What? So you know what that means. It means we're going to avoid them at all costs? It means we're going back to the no, city. Why would you? Because that's how cities work. You go to them. But that you doesn't go shopping. sound ideal. You, you know what would be ideal right now, though? Speaking of things that are ideal, right now, idealness would be the ritual from Blood Magic that makes animals grow faster. I'm so glad that wasn't some kind of a lead up to equivalent exchange. Well, no, because I don't think equivalent exchange has anything to handle, you know, liquid meat and pink slime. Can't say that's been high on the priority list. No, I'm pretty sure it isn't. I pretty much moved all our animals into the breeding pen, by the way, so it shouldn't take too long to get what we need, but it's just like we're waiting for cows to grow so that we can slaughter them. What, uh, what would you like? Did you want to go visit a village or city thing? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that the bad news you're trying to deliver to me right now? I think it's something we could do. Oh, boy. I thought we were done with those places. Because, you know, they're easy. Well, someone told me that there's, like, three or five more places to go visit. What? Yep. But we don't need anything. Oh, we need things. More like Pahamar needs. All right. Let me sort out my inventory. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Definitely want some of this. Definitely want one of these. All right, I have 256 buckets of water. That should last us, right? I would say so. Yeah. Everybody keeps telling me to craft the armor for our jetpacks, but I don't know if that's available. Like, I can't get the recipe to show up. I haven't seen it as a recipe. No. Like, yeah. Armored redstone jetpack. Like, there's no recipe for that. And the armor plating, there's no recipe for that either. See, like, I can't bring up a recipe for it. So, I know it's supposed to work in, I think, you put stuff in here. But I kind of tested it, and it wasn't working. So, I don't know what the deal is. If it's disabled in the map for balance reasons, or if that's a bug, I'm not sure. But long story short, I wasn't able to craft any armor for our jetpacks, guys. Much sorry. Speaking of, don't forget to recharge your jetpack. Looks like you're already recharging your jetpack. I am? Cool. Well, I just put it back in the uh, charger for you. Oh, I am. Yeah. And I have this nifty thing. Is there anything in it? Nope. Uh, okay, I guess I'm ready to go to that horrible place you want to go to. <laughs> yeah, as Bob Mar laughs bad. and I cry. Let's just review our quests once more. Um... Under pressure, 100% complete. Creating life, 100% complete. Basic survival has one quest that's uncompletable. And technological revolution has one quest, MFR liquid. So we definitely have just that last quest to do and we're done, dude. So, and we're just waiting for pink slime and meat. Correct. We are always waiting for meat. I, I don't think that's true. We were last map. Were we? Do you remember how long it took for me to get all the meat? Yeah, but this time we only need 10 buckets for it, so we should be alright. Wish we had more pigs, to be honest with you. But, eh. Come on, cows, grow. Alright, I'm ready when you're ready. Okay. Do we want to come back when we're ready to head out there, or are you ready now? Uh, let's come back. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Why would you do such a thing? Because someone told me it existed, and I had to go. I see. And I also like, found a... Hey, Dire Wolf, I know we have everything we need, but let's go explore this incredibly dangerous city. Exactly. Alright, just so I'm clear on where, you know, what we're doing and everything. It's a bit of a ways away. Right. So out of curiosity, do you know how much mob essence we had in those tanks downstairs underneath our base? Nope. We had almost 64 buckets worth. Nice. Yeah, I know that for reasons. For reasons. 
For what reasons? For the reasons that I know that. That inspires so much confidence. That's kind of the plan. Wow. Eep. Not because of you. You're not eep worthy. Oh, thanks, Pymar. It was just a lot of mobs. I'm just checking out this city. You should totally come. It's totally not deadly. Yeah? Are they friendly monsters over there? They give hugs. I am 100% not believing you. Why would you never believe me? Ah, hey, come back here. What have I done to you? Yay, things are working that I did. Some of these spawners are ridiculous. Yeah. Stone energy cell. Sweet. Not sure if required or not. Hey! Alright, so there might be a few animals roaming around our base. I just want you to be aware of that possibility. There may be a lot of monsters chasing me right now. Why am I not surprised? Because I am a very, very attractive person, and people tend to be drawn towards me. I see. So, did I mention I also found a really scary tower dungeon thing here? Nope. It's also full of friends who want to give us hugs. Hooray, my essence. Man, this city's big. Did you have another safari net, or no? I got one. Oh, it's got a it? secret weapon inside of it. Oh. The mobs will never see it coming. Oh boy. Kind of afraid of what that might be. I'm gonna make a golden lasso then, because I don't know what safari nets. Yeah, it requires four under pearls. Golden lassos are definitely easier. What? Where'd you go? I opened a chest and it kicked me off the server. Oh, don't open that chest anymore. But I want to. It has loot in it. And I think I saw a message on Twitter from Iskandar that said that he's, there's like a known bug where occasionally there's chests where like whatever item inside is like invalid and it kicks you off the server whenever you look inside that chest. Well, I've crashed, so why don't we come back in a second? Okay. You back already, Pahamar? I'm back and I've opened the chest. Was there anything good in it or did it crash you again? Uh no, it worked. Uh, cobalt oh. ingot, high oven controllers, and some seared brick. Well, that's cool. Cobalt ingots are nice. Darn, these animals are occasionally spawning outside the thing. Um, no reason. Did you invite another one over? His name is Carl. Well, Carl apparently just took fall damage after teleporting next to me and died. 
Carl. Maybe that's a special mob's power. Oh, there's like a nasty looking enemy inside the base, or teleporting around here at the moment too. Alright, I think we're doing alright here, guys. At least I'm facing four blazes. I said I, I meant like I was doing alright, I wasn't talking about you. You're getting a little lippy. Well, I mean, you know, I'm just letting you know, like, I'm doing alright. I'm making us lots of liquid meat and pink slime. Alright, I think the mob farm, while less attractive looking than it was before, is now slightly more functional and definitely faster. To the point where I'm probably going to disable this thing. You know, I have leopards on me, so I'm cool. I don't think we need to breed any more stuff. Sweet. Alright, we have almost enough um, liquid meat. Pink slime is going to be a little bit. Why does pink slime always take so long? Because you get such a small amount of it per mob. Do you want to come back in a few minutes? I want to let this run for a few and have a little snack. Sounds good. Okay. All right, Bahamar, I'm back. Welcome back. I'm working on a uh, little QDS stuff. Sounds like you're ready to start piping some liquids. I am. Uh, we are at four buckets out of the ten that's needed for the pink slime, but my uh, meat bucket's getting a little bit full at the moment. How's my drum doing? Actually quite good still. Um, I think it would be running faster if these baby animals would grow up but eh. um, so I'm just kind of getting ready to hand everything in here I'm checking out this massive scary tower because I'm done with the city I found all the loot that I think I want fair enough Oh, see, that's much faster. Now we're talking. So, sludge first. Let's see here, right? Sludge. Yes, go. Ta da! Meet second. Dun 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 dun. Sewage. All right, Pahmar. All that remains is the pink slime. Do you want to be here for when we uh, do the final turn in there? I think so. Let me just get out of this place. All right. Well, we've got a few more minutes still, so why don't we just come back when uh, when we're ready? Because we do have a little bit of time left before we're ready for that. What is down there? I'll just let this drain because I don't care. It'll it'll backlog the pipes because there's only one pipe coming out of here. All right. We'll be back in a minute, guys. Yes, Mr. Palmer. I'm doing something pretty cool. Uh oh. I'm riding back to our base. On a horse? On a horse. Nice. Do you have horse armor on there? I do. He's wearing diamond armor. Oh, you know what? I should probably do this. I think some of my pink slime might have been going in there occasionally. That might explain... Like, why is it taking so long to get pink slime? Now it's occurring to me that maybe it was already going into there? Let's see. Oh, yeah, nice. We've got 70% of the pink slime done. It's because you put it in the wrong spot. Kinda. Well, I had one of the tanks be empty. <laughs> Um, and it was auto-draining into the QDS. This is a much cooler way of getting back. Like, the hang gliders are cool, but 
I'm riding across the desert on the back of a horse with monsters all around me in the middle of the night. Do you want to know a secret? What's that? I don't think I've ever ridden a horse in Minecraft. I may have had to look up how to actually um, tame one. Yeah, like that's something you needed to Google, right? Well, I don't ride horses every day, so... Right, I'm done. Yeah, like typically I have jetpacks and stuff. So I don't. I actually don't think I've ever officially ridden a horse in Minecraft before. Like, pretty sure that's a fact. I'm actually making some pretty decent time. You should maybe look into horses more often. Yeah. Cool. All right, you want to come Just back saying, when you get back like, to the base? He's got like one horsepower. Wow, that's a lot of horsepower for one horse. That is. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm almost back at the base actually. Yeah. All right, well, I've got, like, at least three or four more minutes until this pink slime stuff is done, so I don't want to stand here just watching it go because that's pretty much all I have to do at this minute. All right, all right. All right, we'll see you guys then. All right, Mr. Palomar, what's the plan? I'm on a horse. I gathered. Hey, Dyer. Yeah. Look at my horse. The cool horse. My horse is amazing. Why is that? Give it a lick. No. <laughs> but it tastes just like raisins. Yeah. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a horse? Um, I don't know. I haven't thought of that joke yet. Three. Which is a, the uh, biggest lie of a commercial ever. I could just imagine Dyroll at like age six, who's like, okay. Nope. And he gets to like three and he's like, there is a distinctly large amount of Tootsie Pop right. left here. Serious business. Hey, Pahamar, guess what? Uh, chicken butt. Ready to hand in quest. Oh, man. That's what's up. I think we just completed Crash Landing. I think we did too. You know what that means? Is it PvP time? Maybe. I, ah! <laughs> away! Dire wolf away! I've been preparing for this. And you're invisible? <laughs> you're not the only one it's... who's been preparing, buddy. What's too bad is that I can still see your jetpack flame effects. Oh, that's cheats. That's total cheats. Hmm, where have you gone? Should I just nuke the base? No. You're inside getting your gear. What gear? I'm inside regenerating health after Bombar's all like... My horse is on fire. Why I'm is really my horse so. on fire? Da ah, cow. Oh, that was so close. I could see you. Oh, yes. <laughs> no fair. Arrows versus <laughs> rocket launchers? I don't think rocket launchers should be allowed. Oh, I was. Oh, I blew up your shell. That's not ideal. Oh, that one almost hit you right in the head. Oh, no. Where's my corpse? How am I missing you? I got you, buddy. No! Tired death. Oh, <laughs> fail. I cannot respawn in hardcore mode. Skeleton? Pahamar was slain by Thief Skeleton. It's like this little tiny one that just came running in. Are you yeah. dead, dead? I'm dead, dead. Whoa, this guy's like totally glitched. Nice. It's almost like I'm going to die, too. I thought I was good with the invisibility, but no fair seeing my flames or my jetpack. 
Hey, look. It's not my fault you didn't think it through. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I could... The skeleton... Oh, my God. You, uh, you are going to love this when you see it. The skeleton is stuck. Nice. Well, and I think that was a good end attack. of the Crash Landing series. I think so, too. Nothing like us killing each other. Yeah, good times. All right, let's see. How should I go out? Because I don't know if I can live on this deserted planet all by myself. I know. Hopefully, there's some sink shell somewhere that will allow us to start a new series. You're not dead. What? You're not actually dead. Why not? Because you're still on the server list. I haven't hit leave server yet. You haven't, huh? No. Oh, I'm going to go check, unless you made more sink shell constructors. No, I didn't, I didn't. I legit am dead already, don't worry. Okay, I was like waiting to... Just yeah, it's just telling me up. I can't respawn in hardcore mode, and I have a button that says leave server. And I was just waiting until you were dead, or we finished recording to hit the button. Alright, well, maybe I'll just fall to my death. Fair enough. For now, guys, Daryl20 and Pahamar wrapping up Crash Landing. Definitely hope you guys enjoyed the series. Oh, Pahamar. Fell from a high place. Do you have sink shells left or no? No, no I don't. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Did you have fun, Pahamar? I had a blast. Nice. Especially, like, the part where we had to reboot the season on episode two. Hey, in fairness, it was really, like, unexpected how hard it was early on. But then, like... I think we learned a lot in episode one and realized like how quickly you run out of water and food and how like when you're waiting how for your sink shells. First wall is. Yeah, and how when you're waiting for sink shells, Pahamar shouldn't run outside when there's mobs out there still. Man. I I should actually someone should count through the season how many times I purposely logged out of the server to avoid instant death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we didn't check what was the final death count. Oh yeah, we didn't. Oh well. I'm sure we can like roll back a few minutes on backup or something and you can check it or something if you want. Yeah, we could probably put that in the comments after the fact. Yeah. Or just put it on Twitter. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Man, that's the first time I got to kill Dire Wolf with, with a rocket launcher. I know. Good, man. I thought we were going to have like some kind of fair duel and you're like, no, rocket launcher. I was like, I prepared. I had a golden apple. I had a potion of swiftness. I had like splash potions of harming. Nice. I had my, like, three enchanted bows. Wow. I turned off all your shells. Did you really? You turned off my I, shells? I did. The only one you had was the one that you, like, all your shell storage, I turned them all off. Oh, you're a jerk. I am a jerk. I've been preparing for this. I was actually <laughs> going to build a secret, like, little shell storage place, but I figured you would have gotten suspicious if I was just <laughs> gone for a while. Yeah, probably. Oh. Wow. I, I only made an invisibility potion and a strength potion. I should say, though, that all the cities we visited, there's still more cities out there, and there's still more ruins out there that we didn't explore. Like, this map is huge, guys. It really is. Maybe, um, you know, I know, like, he's still adding lots and lots to it. Maybe after two or three versions, we, you know, revisit it and see what's new. Yeah, I'd like to see this in 1.7. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe. Depends how much he adds. Like, I don't want to redo it if there's only a few new things, but maybe if he's oh, added yeah. a lot of quests or... Maybe even one eight next year. Oh, yes, I say that's <laughs> gonna be a while. <laughs> I'll let you know about that. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Well, maybe in one seven we'll we'll definitely do another series. I'm sure. Um, I've heard there's a couple like Material Energy Cubed. I've heard really good things about, and there's a couple others that are similar. So if you guys want to see more series with me and Pahimar, you know, put likes on both our videos. Like, put a like on mine, put a like on his, and we'll definitely see that you guys are both looking for like i said more series from us like this that are quest based and you know have us trying to survive against all odds and with some like underlying tension yeah because now i have to get you back for killing me <laughs> wait look dude you killed me at the end of agrarian skies you were totally over geared yeah you were totally over geared i had nothing i could do to get you so this Probably. time i was over geared rocket launcher for the win <laughs> All right, guys, for now, Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the series. Take it easy. See you later, guys.